Hello, and welcome back to more Elden Ring. So even though I didn't want to fight this boss anymore, uh, I kind of felt like, let's give it a few more shots, I guess. Uh, I really love this boss so much. Um, yesterday I cut out a lot of the footage, I'm pretty sure. But I've tried out the boss um, with or without summons. And... Uh, can we continue on with this? Okay, so this is one of the craziest bosses in any Souls Before game. Begin. Yeah. Um, so after playing for myself yesterday, <clears throat> I watched uh, a few people try this boss on their own. And it seems like what I've done is pretty much what you are supposed to do. Uh, I stood back and I let my... Uh, trusty summon companions guys uh, do the majority of the work and it's so funny that there are some streamers that did this boss solo in melee combat which is like the most I don't know probably praiseworthy attempts or whatever but honestly that would probably take like a billion hours so I don't want to try that uh, too much because in my opinion the gimmick of this boss is that you summon a bunch of dudes that fight with you like in a war because the guy is a war general so I'm pretty sure this is the whole gimmick about this boss fight so it's so funny to me that streamers got flack for not summoning in this boss fight it's just actual insanity to me so yeah I will summon and I don't care and uh, I think this boss is really really fun Shit. I've already messed up. This message can go S A D. Move it, lady. Shit ass. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, it's so crazy that people, streamers, are getting mad comments from people for not summoning in a souls game that is so insane to me but yeah apparently no, no matter what you do people get upset these days i guess so i just want to do it my own way which is by summoning and then doing this because i don't feel like dying you know and i don't know maybe i can beat this guy or maybe not i would give it a few tries I've also found that there's a finger maiden up there, which is very nice because she can heal. No. And yes, I've also seen a video of a guy defeating this boss naked with a club. So, everything is possible in Souls games, as we all know, but again, the guy probably spent at least a few days uh, figuring out this boss or maybe you know a couple of hours I don't know but way way longer than I intend to fight this boss to be honest so I will just do this and another thing I found is that the resummons can appear at random places like this so you wanna pay attention to the whole arena to see if you can find these summon signs and then resummon your guys and uh, continue with the battle which in my opinion is like I don't know I love this mechanic this is such a cool unique idea to have like billions of summons well, should probably get even more oh shit even more uh, FP potions for this guy Oh shit. No. Ow. That hurt. Oh god. Let's see if I can find more summon signs. Pretty sure everyone is dead, no? There are two. And I don't think that there is a different ending if you summon or not. But I could be wrong about this.
This is such a cool boss fight. Okay. Can someone one more here? Oh, oh no. Off. Oh. Yep. He's a nice little uh, meat shield. Ooh, more summon signs? No, that's just a message, I think. Ooh. Okay. Shit. Oh shit, yeah, I need way more FP potions for this guy. No. Yikes. Dang it. Oh shit, dude. Run. A few raisins for my horsey. Oh, that was close, dude. Jump off, jump off, jump off right now. Shit, too late. Um, oh, my finger maiden is helping me. Nice. But you should probably help these up, guys. But, oh, well. Who am I to tell you how to do your job? Right? Let's see if there are more summon signs over there. No. He really wants my ass. But, uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. These balls will throw you off your horse. Whoa. That boss is so crazy. Oh! Oh, he's gone. Okay. Now he will come back as a meteor. Whoa, shit. Yikes. This is so awesome. Right, more dudes, more dudes. More dudes. Yep. Can't even hit him. That was a good hit. Oh no, these meteors. I still don't know when he's firing them off. People are dying left and right again. Shit. Come on. Dang it, now I'm out. Okay, so we have to go melee now. And summon... Whoa! Holy shit, I actually dodged them. I didn't even think that's uh, possible. I think there was one more. Holy shit, that guy is so crazy. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure... Oh shit! Hey guy! Hey dude! Oh no! Whoa! Okay. Oh shit. That was a bit close. Let's see if there are more summon signs or if I can actually fight him. Whoa! What was that? Did he killed my camera. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to fight him now. No. Yep. 
Maybe I can summon more guys. There are a lot of summon signs there. Shit. Don't kill my horse, please. Come on, summon these guys and then I will go into battle myself. Oh shit. Oh fucking shit, he killed me. Fuck, I didn't see that. Dang it. That was a good run. It's really a bad idea to get into melee combat with this guy. Holy shit, dude! Oh my god, these one hit kills are so. Shit, dude! Fuck me. Magic shit, shit, fuck. What? What? Oh, this is so bullshit, dude. Fuck you, man.
shit.
Okay. God dang it. Oh fuck me, he's dead. Fuck me. Holy shit, dude. Radan's Great Rune. Remembrance of the Star Scourge. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so this took about an hour. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> wow. What is happening? Whoa. Holy shit. What the fuck? Wow, that was an awesome effect. Wow. Uh. <gasps> oh shit. Okay. Um, so I blew up the entire world. Wow, that was an awesome cutscene. Holy shit, I've defeated the hardest? Question mark? Boss in the game? Well, I didn't really defeat it myself. Um, okay, so I want to talk a little bit about this guy. And my little uh, impressions about him. So... I actually like this fight a lot. Uh, however, the one mechanic about this guy that makes him pretty much not enjoyable is the instant death shit. Pretty much anything he does to you, you instantly die. So either you are a complete um, dodge god, or he will kill you many, 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 many times. Because as the worst thing about him were his... Meteors that were surrounding him when he was running around. I was pretty much just um, I couldn't get near him because I didn't understand the mechanic when he would fire them because it seemed to be random and They would just instantly kill me all the time. So I Love the mechanic that you have to summon guys and let them fight for you and maybe that was the whole idea behind this guy because at, at, after all he is a war general so in this fight, the game basically turns you into a war general. Yeah, like, you, sh you send your troops into the battle. But I don't agree with the instant death mechanics of this guy. It's so bad. And, you know, it's, it's not like I have no health. I have a thousand health. I don't know. He was fun, and I liked his mechanics. But it was very frustrating. Anyway. He is dead now. So, what do you have to say now? Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight me. The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. Yeah, what was that? I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra. Barani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more. For Mistress Rani. Okay. Very interesting. Let's meet where the falling star will go into battle. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate. Sword and fan. The curtain's rising. And the final act. Oh, no shit. So yeah, I guess this guy was supposed to be like one of the final bosses in the game. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, he seemed pretty, you know. Oh, hey. You heard. Ah, hello there. Oh, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. 
One oh. hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I... I hid like a coward, and as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. Oh, come on, you fought marvelously. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> yeah, eventually I, I'm sure I will beat this boss faster. The guy in, you know, the naked guy with a club took like three minutes to fight this guy. And I took like at least like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes per try or something. It was ridiculous. So yeah, awesome. I beat Radan. Let's change this back. Whoa, what a ridiculous boss. But I really, really liked him. And I also like the fact that you have to summon, or at least the boss is meant to be fought with summons. Uh, you know, you can go melee, but I don't know. It's just so... It, his meteors were the worst attack of the entire thing. It was so random. And I never knew when he would fire them, and they would just one-shot you every time. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Can't wait to um Yeah, I got it. Oh, how many souls did I get? What the fuck? He gave me seventy thousand Whoa. That is huge! Whoa! Wow, 70,000! Yeah, no way! This is this guy is meant to be fought like... I don't know, whatever. People can fight whoever they want at whatever level they are. Oh my god, yes! I want to check out what he can give me now in the hole. Shit, yes. Hopefully, like, a really good sword. Was he even using swords in the battle? No, there were, like, some kind of clubs, right? Oh, I have to completely change my entire loadout for this guy. Okay, and this guy. Right. Where is it here? Sight. I wonder. No, you can't. What are these swords like? This is supposed to be like King Arthur with a. Is it 12 or 13 swords? Who knows? Anyway, let's go. Hi. Uh, I just murdered the greatest warrior in all of existence but you know no biggie oh shit a great sword ah, it's a colossal sword but it looks amazing uh, star star core. oh and a bow oh whoa these two look freaking amazing honestly i will duplicate my soul uh, what a weird line to say. Uh, where was that? I don't remember where I could duplicate these souls. Was it with her again? Am I just stupid? Is it with a blacksmith? How can I duplicate these souls? Where is his great room? Oh, I have to activate it. Yes. yes. Uh, 
inventory. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. My nerves are kind of blasted. Uh, just tell me what to do, game. Uh, why does everything have to be a freaking struggle, man? Just do it. Purchase. Oh, shit. I can get his armor set. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, I will get that. On spear? Huh? Very cool. Just, I mean, why can't I just... Okay, if I do this... Now it's gone. Now go that door. Shut up. I had an item that could... Ugh. Ugh, well, well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I can't duplicate them. I don't really care. Um, I got the great sword because it looks way more awesome than the bow. And also, I'm not really a bow user anyway, so I just wanted to check out this sword. It's a curved great sword. Wow, it looks amazing, but I'm really not a big fan of curved swords in general. But in Dark Souls games, these are one of the most powerful weapons ever. I think even in real life, the curved blade make them like much harder to parry or dodge or whatever. They're more destructive in combat or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, cool. Wow. That was a long video, even though you will probably see a much shorter video than uh, usual. Holy shit. Okay. I don't know. I have to read it up. I, I think I saw something that you can uh, duplicate Souls of Remembrance even after using them. So right now I'm not too concerned. Also, sword looks cool. Maybe the bow is cool as well. Uh, I have the crossbow already, so I don't really mind that. I also can't upgrade a million of weapons anyway in this playthrough. I would probably reserve that for the New Game Plus. Look at this. I can't even upgrade my Morningstar past 7 because I don't find I can't find any smithing stones. And anything I look up, like guides, where to find them and stuff. I have my crossbow on plus, plus 6, which is also not really ideal. But yeah, I'm very happy that I defeated uh, Rodan, uh, one of the hardest bosses in the entire game, no doubt. So uh, I'm very happy about this, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.